Levelor shades are easy to install. In this video, we will walk you through quick and simple steps to install your custom motorized sheer shadings inside mount. Let's start by getting organized. There are a few tools you will need for installation. They are a flathead or Phillips head screwdriver, level, measuring tape, pencil, pliers or heavy duty scissors, power drill with a 332nd inch bit, fasteners in brackets designed for mounting surfaces. Two one and a half inch number six hex head screws are provided per installation bracket. Two longer number six hex head screws for use with spacer blocks are not provided. Speed nuts and screws for the extension brackets if applicable. Your order will include the correct number of installation brackets for your shading width. Now that we're organized, let's get started with installation. First, prepare the installation brackets. Use pliers or heavy-duty scissors to remove both the top and bottom tabs on the installation bracket. This ensures there is a clearance for the battery pack. Next, measure and mark 2 inches to 3 inches in from each jam for the bracket locations. If more than two installation brackets come with your order, space additional brackets evenly between the two end brackets and mark their locations. Mount into wood whenever possible. Allow a minimum of 18 inches from the motor side of the headrail and 15 inches between installation brackets to accommodate the standard battery pack. Next, center the brackets on your marks and then mark the screw hole locations, meeting the mounting depth requirements shown in the chart. Use the rear set of holes with shallow mounting depths. Use the front set of holes when depth permits. Now, drill the screw holes using a 332nd inch drill bit. Next, use a level to check that the mounting surface is level. Shim the brackets if necessary using the top tab that was removed from the brackets. Now, attach the installation brackets using the screws provided. Do not over tighten the screws. Check to ensure the lever can be moved easily side to side. If not, loosen the screws in 1 8 turn increments until the lever can be moved easily. If using spacer blocks, stack the spacer blocks on top of the installation brackets. Using number six hex head screws that are long enough for secure installation, install the screws up through the underside of the installation bracket and spacer blocks into the mounting surface. Use the front set of bracket holes when depth permits. Now, insert the batteries into the battery pack. To insert the batteries in the battery pack, Squeeze the cap latch to release the cap and remove the cap from the battery pack. Next, install 12 AA alkaline batteries according to the instructions on the battery pack. AA alkaline batteries are recommended for use with battery-powered shadings. These will provide approximately one year of operation depending on usage. Lithium and rechargeable batteries are not recommended. Replace the cap and align the tab with the end of the pack. Press the cap on until it latches. Now, install the standard battery clips on the motor side of the head rail. To ensure the battery pack fits properly, leave a minimum of 15 inches between the inside of the two installation brackets that are closest to the motor side of the head rail. Measure the correct battery pack clip location prior to installation. Make sure the battery clips will not interfere with mounting brackets. It is difficult to adjust or remove clips once they have been snapped into the head rail. Firmly push the battery pack clips, one at a time, into the head rail until you hear each one click. Carefully pull on each battery pack clip to ensure it's securely installed. If needed, you can gently tap on the side of the clip to adjust it slightly into the desired position on the head rail. Now, install the standard battery pack. To mount the standard battery pack into the battery pack clips, place the battery pack with its socket toward the motor end of the shading. Next, push the battery pack straight up into the battery pack clips until it snaps into place. Check to make sure the battery pack is secure 
Be sure the cables do not become pinched by the battery pack clips during installation since damage or overheating of components could result. Now, connect the power cable into the battery pack. From the back of the shading head rail, connect the power cable from the motor side into the socket on the battery pack. Secure the power cord using the wire retainer provided. Let's install the shade. Now position the shade so that the front or room facing side of the shade faces you. Slide the headrail into the installation brackets so the edge of the headrail is between the lever and the bracket. Firmly push the headrail into each bracket until it clicks and the lever snaps to the right side of the bracket. And finally, carefully pull on the headrail at each bracket to ensure it's securely installed. You're all set and ready to start enjoying your Levelor shade today, tomorrow, and every day.